and we will start on Acropolis. Yep, down in the bottom right corner of Acropolis at the first game in our last series. The Terran player for the Platinum Heroes we have in Ballot. And in the top left corner of the map, in blue for without build order, we have the Protoss player Slow Motion. as long as this game ramps up I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my channel um, I am a master chooser player streaming my own ladder games from time to time with commentary and analyze uh, my game and talk about my thought process I try to be as educational as possible I am also master 3 with Protoss and on my way to master 3 with Terran <laughs> um, yeah, but my, my Zerg is way better and I can give way more insight on those. Uh, in addition to that, I cast Clan Wars like this and I also cast games of our internal Clan League, which I will be, for example, doing next Sunday evening. If you like all of this, feel free to leave a follow, would be really appreciated. And if you really like what you see, a uh, subscription to this channel is also possible also with Twitch Prime, so if you want to support me and the things I do, feel free to leave your Twitch Prime here. Would be really appreciated if you do so. Back to the game now. We see a Reaper Fast expansion here for Invalid, while on the other side Slow Motion was going for a gateway into Cybercore and then Nexus. So Cyber 4 Nexus for Nexus. A little bit untypical. But in this matchup not too much of a bad idea. Just can be a little bit safer against the first Reaper. Which is when you don't send out the other deck. Okay, so he wants to do some pressure. And we see the Reaper arrive in his base as the Stalker is halfway done. But slow motion instantly Chronos out. Docker. Looks like Invalid was respecting the fact that there should have been a unit out already. And just went for the scout and did no probe damage whatsoever. So now the Adept arrives. Ooh, this could have been this could have worked out very nicely. Could have killed the SCV before it finished the command center. We will still no we <laughs> okay, he will uh, just load in the the SCV, so at least he delays the orbital, which is worth way more than a single SCV would have been. Nice stuff here by slow motion. Gets a delay on this command center, gets an SCV kill for nothing. He did not lose um, his adept. And he even saw a widow mine. Then this he goes for a twilight and a robo. And builds more and more workers for his natural. Looks like a widow mine drop here for Invalid. All widow mines and a medevac. The bunker is in a kind of goofy spot here. Just covers this part of the base. Nothing over here. You see a single marine. In this drop as well, which is a nice addition. If you drop three widow mines and a marine, the marine sometimes can get a lot of probes. The motion now feels the drop, moves into his main base just as the drop arrives. Pops in new stalkers in his natural to be saved there as well. Very good. Um, Spreading of his units here. There we see the medibag boosting in and getting deflected instantly. 
Luckily for Invalid, he did not lose the Medivac as well. So you will probably now go over here. Boosting over. And as you can see, the rally points going in right here. Dropping the units up, which is a good idea. And just runs in the mains. You don't see that too often. Dockers are in position, but it's nice pull here. Very nice, very fast reaction. And all he got is four probes. Send those back to mining. And you're fine. Very nice defense here. By slow motion so far. Third base on the way already. And behind this, we have Stim and Combat Shields only now starting. So all the Terran did so far, did only kill four probes. And did not punish Protoss for the greed he uh, got. It was only in a few gateways, he went for a lot of different tech. And for a fast third, everything was kind of greedy. But the amount of stalkers the motion made, made the greed safe against early drops and therefore yeah was was kind of nice the fact that he scouted the widow mine with the uh, uh, adept early on could have been a little tell but didn't need to because widow mines can you can just build a single widow mine and do anything else but it's it's not a tank so you delay at least now we see an observer here in the front of Invalid's base. He sees there is no third. Does not see that there is no third, but now he sees the move out. Takes, uh, which I think he will. He has charge turn, he warps in a lot of zealots. Combat shields are done, stim will not be done until 30 more seconds, which is quite a long time. This is at least one more warp in cycle here for our Protoss. Or stim. And I don't think you want to engage this before. Yeah. Oh, don't, 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 don't run in there. This is not where you want to fight. Go back. Okay, this was not too bad. More stalkers and adapt. The first immortal, which is very nice here in this situation for slow motion. And all of this is here. Another warp in here. Very good. He's ahead in workers and he will not die against this. This push is not able to kill this Protoss army. There's the immortal. He should pull the immortal to the fight. If the immortal is here, he will not die. Without him, kinda rough. Warp in more zealots. Okay, the immortal is there now. Warp in more zealots. Nice, warp in is there. Send the zealots in. Send them in. As you see, he's, he's not even uh, losing the fight right now. The tank is not in position to fight. He's now pulling back and no blink for, for slow motion. That's the good news here for Invalid. But he did a lot of this uh, build up to this push, um, which didn't lead to much. Action. Oh my god. I think he actually, yes, he actually sniped the tank. And the counter push is now here already in there. That means no third for a Terran. More and more reinforcements are arriving. A very nice uh, counter play here by slow motion as well. He's going to kill the command center because there's no no attack here from the Terran. No more charge. Let's run in here. Tank is in position, but this tank will not live long. And now all of those Protoss units are in his natural. Nice kiting back now. Not over committing at all. Pulling back at the exact right moment. Gets the tank. Now he should turn. Yeah, he's not able to run away from Stim Marine. Another huge round of warp ins here. For slow motion. He has his third ch saturated, while the Terran has not even a third base. Yeah, 2-2 two, two on the way for Protoss. Terran is in a kind of dicey position here. He needs to do more. He needs to do a lot more damage to the Protoss. Who is now intercepting the reinforcements. This could uh, should trip him off. Why are there units running over there? And now the Terran will run into his natural and will start doing damage there. Nice pullback on the Immortal. Terran not going for the throat. 
just sitting on the gateways for a bit. And now the Protoss army comes from behind. If you uh, ran in here right away, uh, right away, would have killed a lot more probes. And now he's losing his army again. Only killing seven probes, losing his entire army. You can see the supply dropping again for our Terran, who is just rebuilding his third. Still not on the way, fourth base on the way for Protoss, who is doing a very great job at expanding here. And just this, this was a small error here by slow motion. In an even game, this can cost you the game, but it was so far ahead already that he was still able to clean this up. Now Storm starts. Two two upgrades are also done now for our Protoss. And on the other side, we see upgrades for Terran. So uh, upgrade-wise, he's not very far behind. We three one starting. No defense upgrade so far. Um, his third base is established now. So the question is, what what does slow motion do now? He's 50 supply app. He has a lot of archons. He has some stalkers and zealots. The only thing he's missing right now is a warp prism. Reinforce this push. So just a single marauder. Not pulling back. Storm is 15 seconds away from finishing. He's in a good position now. Valad is moving out over here. This army will not live long against all of those Protoss units. Even though there is a drop heading out, which there is not much against. Not much to fight against. Here we have, uh, where we have the drop. Okay, he pulled them back. This looks like an F2 move. Uh, he pulled back the drop, which was uh, the only thing that he has go had going for himself, but it's just way too much Protoss here. In his natural, running over all of his units, all of his SCPs, killing two more command centers, and now he's in the production, so I'm expecting a very fast GG here from Invalid. There's nothing he can do in this game anymore, and there we have it. GG is called, and this is the 1 0 for slow motion. And we are tied up in the Cloud War again. It's 4 4. Here down in the bottom right corner of Kairos Junction, the Terran player 1 0 down for uh, Platinum Heroes, it's Ian Ballant. And top left corner playing in blue as a Protoss player for without build order, slow motion. up to this point and we see two gases here for Protoss and two gateways so aggression here promotion hypercore behind this and now we see the scout here by invalid and going for an SCV scout might be what saves him the game here I need to think a bit. Problem. Better now. So the reaction by Invalid is here leaving his Reaper at home. But 
just going for a factory and no more units out of the barracks, just a command center on the low ground. So, so far, actually no reaction at all to this. Sending the Reaper out right now and he's going for a reactor. So, this first two stalkers that will run over to his side of the map will probably do a lot of damage. They find the Reaper. But they don't kill the Reaper, and this this way buys a lot of time for Envelope. Still does not lose the Reaper, and Envelope now starts a bunker, but again, why this bunker in this corner? Build it over here where you can reach this, this corner, so now you can just move over here and still do free damage. Bad thing for slow motion though, his Nexus is very late because he went for four stalkers. Now two stalkers snipe the SUV, the bunker gets denied. And this can turn into a huge problem here for Invalid. Because it's not only two stalkers, there will be two more. And yeah, he has no way to, to save his marines. The bunker, as I said, gets cancelled. Oh, no, 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 no. He loses his first stalker against the Widow Mine. At least he gets the Widow Mine for his trouble. Some damage on this command center down here. Still denies everything that's going on. SCV is being pulled. The motion now starts kiting back with his stalkers, which is something that he can do for a very long time. Now he gets the aggro on the marines, lots of damage over there, snipes so many CVs, you can take a look at the worker count, it's just 31 to 18, and this is not over. There is still no real counterplay here for Invalid to this. Just now he has another uh, Widow Mine, and now the first Liberator shows up. This one will probably end this, now uh, he decides to, to rush on it. He gets the Liberator as well, which is not too bad. He loses two Stalkers for it, gets another SCV. So we have 33 probes against 17 SCVs. That is such a huge lead here for slow motion. Very nice opening there, but also no or at least a late reaction for Invalid to the uh, gateway opening. Which, uh, yeah, just leads to him being very far behind right now. The motion reacting to all of this damage he did with adding more gateways just to be safe it's a good way not not be too greedy after you did so much damage just play it a little bit safe get more units out and he will probably be able to defend either defend the push that is coming or that should be coming to counter damage or just uh, go for the throat just kill the Terran. As you see, Invalid is now moving out with a, f a small force of Marines and a Cyclone. It's not too bad, but the second he sees there are five gateways ready, he should just pull back. Five gateways, just just one warp in round of five gateways is almost enough to kill this, especially if he has two or three Stalkers left over from the early stage. Okay, now he sees that the units are over here and pull all of his units together. The cyclone locks onto a probe and gets killed. Wow, everything goes wrong here. Far invalid in this game. Right from the start, he's behind by quite a lot. And now stalkers are chasing his marines across the map, sniping single marines all the time. And as he gets to a ramp, slow motion decides to pull back. And okay, now he at least loses two stalkers for up that ramp. Salad legs are almost done. And we have more and more gateways here. Third base is done for Protoss. We still ahead 15 workers. And there is just no army here for Invalid. This is just nothing you want to fight and he has no stim. Stim is still on the way actually just started. Ah, this does not look good for a Terran. 
Templar archives already. So this is when you know that you have a real big problem as Terran. When you only on like 35 army supply, there's already a Templar archives almost done. The only thing that Invalid can hope now is to hit a location where slow motion is not watching or is not ready. Which is exactly what he does right now. He gets into the third base, which is full of probes, while slow motion tries to clear those rocks down here. And therefore gets a lot of damage done here. 16 kills, 19 kills, because he has a liberator over here as well. Got sniped. But 20 probes. This is almost an equalizer here. And we have no, uh, no blink here for the stalkers, so he cannot follow easily into the main, so more damage being dealt over there. If this tank sieges right here, uh, just a little bit too far, so if you could reach the ramp, there is no way this gets defended, but just as it is, he decides to target the, the Twilight Council instead of the Island. And the motion just has enough to uh, send him away in his main base, but then he drops again down here, getting more damage done, but finally slow motion stabilizes. So this drop did more than it should have done, which is really nice here for Invalid. 1-1 one, one upgrade and Storm on the way though. And still, Invalid has no third command center on the way, which again leaves him behind in this game, even though he killed 20 probes just now. The fact that he killed the Twilight is in this situation is kind of good for him, because now slow motion cannot start to 2 right away. Looks like he did not realize that his Twilight was killed, so he has not rewilled it yet. He probably thought about the Templar archives, dying it, because he did not see that yet. So delaying that would be nice for him as well. So all in all, the decision was not too bad. Third command, center, uh, third command center halfway done now. See another push in here. While I just now get started. Because you realize, okay, I cannot start to two. Another drop into the natural, killing three more probes. So Invalid tries to get back into this game by doing small hits left, right and center. Um, thing is, behind this he just now finished his third base and he didn't even start his first upgrade. While well, Protoss already started to... And there is Storm, there are upgrades, he will probably take a fourth base quite soon. He plays kind of like in the last game. And Invalid is just, yeah, he's just still trying to catch up. And if you try to catch up and Protoss hits this late game force that he wants to have, you're gonna have a bad time. The motion now is getting sick of all of those drops. He realizes, okay, he's trying to get back into the game this way. He builds cannons in his natural and the third base. And he will probably hit F2 pretty soon and attack with his 2-2 timing. Which if he chronos is like in a minute. He actually decides to move out earlier. He does not even wait for 2-2. Which I agree with. I mean, 2-2 is nice, but you already have Storm and you have a big army. So try to hit the Terran before he gets ready for everything. Terran goes for advanced ballistics, so if he gets to that, kinda hard. And this is not even all in. Behind this, oh this storm, oh my god! Those storms, they're just so disgusting. Killing the entire bio army here, raining all over it. And the third base gets sniped, the army gets killed, and Invalid drops down to 50 supply only, falls back into his base, 
that there is just nothing he can do against this huge Protoss army that is still left over. Slow motion now focuses on the command center. Nice storms here, killing more SCVs, and there we have it. GG is called by Invalid, and slow motion closes out the series 2 to 0.